Hi there, it's Michelle. I just wanted to show you a little bit about paper sheets and tags. You've seen us talk about it before. Um, but right now, I just want to show you something real simple. If you're not using the paper sheets and tags as a gift wrap, then it's really easy to cut down for your scrapbooking. So I'm going to pull out a sheet here from our party games, paper sheets and tags. Right now, you've got a 12 by 12 square when you bring it out of the envelope, which then opens up to a 24 by 12 size, which actually fits perfectly within your 12 inch paper cutter. To cut it down, what you're going to want to do is see the groove here, line the groove with on the, on the cutting blade and just cut right through. The paper sheets are that thinner texture, so it cuts through all the layers just like butter. So now you've got two 12 by 12s. When you unfold these, again, you now have 12 by 36 inch size. Again, you still have your fold lines. The fold lines are, are at the 12 inch mark. So it's really an easy guide just to cut them down. So if your intention is to use paper sheets for scrapbooking, then the best thing to do is just cut it all down at one time. Go ahead, pull out all of your pages, cut them down. So now I have three instant 12 by 12s. The reverse of those are the solids. Then I've got three more that I can cut down from here. And what's beneficial about that as well is if you are intending to use the multiple repeat images for card making, you now have a more manageable size to come in and do your fussy cutting with, to cut down the cards, cut out the frogs, that sort of thing, cut out those accents for your card making. This same technique works for the foil and it works for the crepe that's all included in the one package of paper sheets and tags. So just a quick little tip on how to use, how to cut down that paper. Um, it's a lot easier than you think. Thanks for joining us.